we're going to turn these throwaway items into this fire starter. This is a simple technique and anybody can do it. Here, start by looking around for some of those old candles that you're probably not going to use again. You can see this batch here is pretty varied. They're not really that cool. All I've done is snip off the charred end of the wick so it'll be a little cleaner. I'm going to put all these into a number 10 can. Once we get all these in here, we're going to take them outside and melt them down. The next ingredient is some sort of 100% cotton. This is a blue jean seam, not good for much else. This is a piece of a terry cloth towel. All these will be dipped into the melted candle wax. You'll need a set of tongs to handle the hot cloth and then we're going to take a regular cookie sheet and cover it with aluminum foil. This is where we'll put the hot fire starter to cool off. For this next step, which consists of melting the wax and uh, dipping the cloth into it, I'd suggest going outside. You really don't want to spill molten wax anywhere. It makes a tremendous mess. You don't want to use too high of a heat, just really enough to uh, kind of reach the melting point. This wax is completely melted now and it's starting to smoke, so that means it's really, really hot. The next step is very important. Shut off the heat. With the heat shut off, we're going to throw in some of these pieces. This is the uh, towel we had. And here's a couple pieces of the denim cloth. What I'm waiting to happen is for the cloth to get totally saturated. When it's done then, I'll fish out a piece and let it drain off a little bit. And then I'll put it on the aluminum foil covered cookie sheet. I'll keep doing this until the uh, wax cools down a little bit, then I'll reheat it again. But you want the wax to be really hot so that it infuses everything. Even these little bitty threads off the end will light really well. It doesn't matter how you put them on the cookie sheet, just stack them so they dry. So here's what our batch of fire starter looks like. Let's see if it works. This piece is pretty frayed so it should light pretty well. I'm going to rip off a piece and let's try this lighter. And there it goes. Let's try lighting one of these blue jean seams. Problem today is the wind. Once it gets going, it's doing fine though. So what we've done is taken some materials that you would probably throw away and made them into a useful fire starter. You've saved some money and developed a survival skill. This is survivalcommonsense.com. Thank you for watching. Practice with your survival tools. Have a great day.